Hello and welcome to Cool Coding. Today we will solve the problem of day 3 of 30 days of code challenge. So let's start. First of all, we have to read the objective. In this challenge, we will learn about conditional statement. So read out task. There is given uh, an integer n. So we have to given an integer n. If n is odd, uh, perform the following conditional actions. So we have to perform the conditional action, uh, actions according to the uh, this. If n is odd, print weird. If n is even and in the range of 2 to 5 and inclusive range, it means 2 and 5. Uh, are included print not weird so if n is even and in the range of 2 to 5 we have to print not weird and if n is even and in the inclusive range of 6 to 20 means if n is even and in uh, and in between the 6 to 20 we have to print weird if n is even and greater than 20 we have to print not weird so uh, let's uh, let's look about input format a single line containing a positive integer n so n n will be integer type constraints n is greater than equal to 1 and less than equal to 100 output format print weird if the number is weird otherwise print not weird so uh, it it's same according to uh, the task so there is given also sample input 3 which is a uh, odd so we have to print weird and sample input 24 which is a even number and it, it is greater than 20 so here n is even number and greater than 20 so we have to print not weird and there is also a not weird output so explanations you can read if you want you can pause the video and you can read so let's start we will write hash include io stream using name space deezer name space standard int main now we have to take a int type n so we will write int n now now we have to take the integer n value from the user so we will write c n n now we have taken the value of n from the user now we will use conditional statement which are if else so uh, we will write if if n is divisible uh, divisible by 2 and gives a vendor 0 oh, 0 this means n percent 2 means when we div divide uh, n percent means remainder means when we di uh, when we divide n by 2 it gives remainder is equal to 0 so in this case so if uh, it means it is divisible by 2 if it is divisible by 2 it means n is a even number and here if n is even and in the inclusive range of 2 to 5 so if if in this if n is n is greater than oh sorry uh, once again i will check if n is an inclusive range of 2 to 5 2 to 5 so if n is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 5 and is less than or equal to 5 what will print 
see out what will print just check not weird so we will write sorry one, one second not weird oh, sorry. now if uh, else if if else if again check if uh, n is greater than equal equal to 6 uh, greater than or equal to 6 and less than equal to 20 we have to print weird so let's go if n is greater than or equal to 6 n is less than or equal to 20 we have to print see out uh, weird Sorry. else we have to print what if it is if n is even and greater than 20 we have to print not weird Sorry. we have to print not weird and now this is over if n is even number now we will use if it is odd so we will write as simply as else see out what we have to if n is odd what we have to print we have to print uh, weird sorry weird now we will return the function and now now our program is ready just take a look on our program i think uh, there is uh, no error so we will run the program now uh, let's go for run Oh, there is a uh, error I think uh, and there is a bracket error so we will this bracket so now put uh, yeah it's complete so here our program has successfully run and all the test cases has passed test case is zero past uh, all the test cases is passed so this was our day three uh, introduction to conditional statement program solutions so thanks for watching